Hello and welcome to part two of the spider plant. In this video, we're we'll looking at how to report a spider plant, especially one that has been root bound and it's old, not looking very healthy. That's what we're going to be looking at in this video. There is a part one of the spider plant, which is how to care for your spider plant. So if you're interested in caring for a spider plant, I would um, recommend that you watch the part one of um, the spider plant videos um, but if your interest is reporting a spider plant especially one that is root bound and um, struggling then this is the one to stay with so um, yeah let's get started So I soaked it for about 10 minutes in a bucket. I soaked everything. I just put, you know, held it like this, put it in a bucket and everything was soaked. So it should be easy to pull out, bring out now. I'm just going to, okay. That's a bit loose from the last time. Okay, it's coming out, it's coming out. Come on, I don't want to harm you or hurt you. It is so thick, the roots are so quite do is these ones here are holding what I'm gonna do is cut. Yeah, so that I can pull this because it's not letting me. It is loose, but this is uh, stopping it from coming out. Got it off. Okay, so let's try again. It should come out now. Yep, that's it. So there you go. Can you see how how much this roots? It's wrapped itself. I'm gonna get a knife and I'll cut. I'll cut it that way. Cut some of the come up, cut some of the roots off. It will grow back. It will grow back. But it will help it. I've got my big butcher knife. My Jamie Oliver. <laughs> my Jamie Oliver knife ready to do some cutting. Hold it up. I'll cut it in front of you. Put this away. Put that away too. And yeah, if I cut it, but if you see what it's done here, it's grown towards the side and it has all this space here. So if I cut it, I'll be able to loosen it up and then move it towards the middle. So sorry spider plant. Right. There's a lot of perilite inside. I don't know how I got this. I'm not sure I planted this, I can't remember. But it's a lot of perilite inside. And you can see those little um, tubes, tubers, uh, little potatoes in. And that's what stores the water. So it helps you to store the water and then feeds the, the plant, all those tubes. Okay, that's here and that's what it looks like it's not gonna die it's not gonna die and i want to separate these ones also so i can oh no what i'll do is not instead of separating it i'll cut that so i can center it in the pot i'll cut that again this way I know you're screaming, you're probably screaming because say, what is she doing? She's going to kill this plant. No, I'm not going to, I'm not killing it. I'm not killing it. If it's spider plant, I, I trust spider plants because they are just an amazing plant. You know, they will do well. They probably say, thank you for cutting me up. So now I've cut it like that, I've got enough space and I will cut that bit off also. Yeah. 
Okay. So this is what I've done now. Spider plants can grow in a can grow spider plants in any kind of soil. So I'm just gonna do so that. Yeah, I want to lift it up a bit. I've got my soil in here. Put the soil in a bit. I want to lift it. Give it some lift. of lift here. I might put this one back. This one has a bit of perlite in it to put this one. Squeeze it back in. Open the roots. Some more compost. So yeah, some compost in. <laughs> Not worry my gloves today. I always like to gather in my gloves, especially when I'm doing things like this, touching soil. But Got some you can see it had a lot of perlite, so it's got a lot of perlite inside, and so it will help to give it the free drainage and protect its roots. So that should be that is fine. I like to heat it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just water it down. I still have some leaves that I need to cut off. Some wounded leaves and broken leaves. Just cut them off. They will come back prettier and better. The point is that the more you trim it, you just keep spotting, you miss some. You think you've done everything and then you miss some. So, so by the time I'm editing, I'll still spot some that I missed. I know it looks very scanty, but if I tell you, this spider plant will be giving me three big kisses and say thank you. Off. Anything that is just weighing it down, cut that off. It's going to do so well now. Uh, I'll give it a good watering and I will keep it out. I won't take it in, I'll just keep it out for a few days. I know it looks like, what are you doing? You're taking out all the leaves. This thing will bounce back. Spider plant is such a beautiful plant to have. If you're thinking about starting to grow plants and having plants in your home, spider plant is one of the good ones that you should have. Plus, it purifies the air. It's a good plant. So, I'm going to leave it at this now. It's not too bad. I'll take this one out. Take that one out. I know it looks very scanty, but it will pick up itself, I tell you. The next time I do an update and I show you this plant, you'll be like, wow, what happened? 
so I'll put it back in its pot. That's the pot. Yeah. So by the time I water it, all this will pick up, all this will stand up straight. Oh, I just found spotted another one that needs to go. Where are you? Found it. Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Okay. Found it. Found it. Okay, sleep away. Found another one also. Sleep, sleep away. The thing about cutting spider plants, you know, sometimes you know you cut it and you're wondering if you cut it, you cut it like right down. I cut it as far back as I can, and later these ones will dry away. New ones will come. Yeah, I think it looks okay now. I think it looks okay now. Um, some of the ones that are left got brown tips. Um, I don't mind that. I don't mind those ones. That's just to tell me you left me to dry out. Thank you again for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, spider plants are so. Spider plants are so easy to take care of. Uh, if you had one that was as bad as mine, uh, all you need to do is just take out the dried leaves, the broken stems, just take them out, cut them out. The spider plant would regrow. It will grow so quickly. They grow so fast. As long as you're watering them and they have some sunlight, especially if they're indoors. If they're outdoors, you don't want it to be in heavy sunlight. You want it to be in a shaded area. It thrives in height, so when you want to grow your spider plant, it loves height. So the higher you raise it, the better it does because the um, spider red, spider reds, can now dangle down and you know do it. It's so beautiful, especially if you put it in a hand game basket. It's so beautiful. So um, thank you again for watching, and I hope you found this video helpful. If you're new to my channel, do like, do subscribe, do share, do share, hit the share button, share. We are growing um, and yeah, the community is growing to become part of the community and I will see you on my next video. Bye for now and God bless.